Hey friends, what is good? Good news, amazing news actually. There is a new release of Bonsai. So let's go over this and see what is, what is it about this time. So Bonsai version 0.8.2 has been released with 654 new features and fixes. It's our build environment, help support Bonsai 100% free and open source software that lets you author and document BIM data fully to ISO standards. It's built by the AAC community for the AAC community. Get it today at bonsaibim.org. We're back to our regularly scheduled every two month release. Everything I'm going to read here is been written, I guess, by uh, Dion Molt. So um, if you want to uh, see the original post, it's made on OSR community. OSR community. Um, so uh, kudos and credits. So you know also the images are from there, are not my images. So if you have any problems with that, just let me know. Otherwise, you know who created them. Either Dion Mold, either uh, somebody else. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, there is that. The credits, again, like, I, like I'm saying, I'm just presenting this. All the, this information is coming from there. OSARC community, OSARC.org is the, is the website. Right, let's see what is this about. Don't know where to put my head. <laughs> let's see. Layered wall visualization. Hooray, this is one of our oldest unresolved bugs and most requested feature, features with a large bounty backing, backing it. IFC supports composite layered walls, and although we also support it, we never actually visualized those layers. The data was there, you just couldn't see it. Now you can see it in 3D, you can see it in 2D, and walls, or a wall layer can now, layers can now also have priorities set on them, which affects whether they display, displaced, displace other layers in parametric wall joints or uh, are metered. This supersedes the previous manual bot meter functions. This also includes supported for layered sloped walls. This is also available in the IFC OpenShell API if you want to script your own building. This is a very nice one. I don't know how many tools out there are actually showing you the layers in your walls and slabs. So, yeah, this is a huge one actually amazing um, effort, amazing achievement, especially by Dion. I think there, yeah, maybe there were more people involved in this, but mainly Dion has contributed to this. So well done, Dion, proud of you. Amazing work once again. Let's go to the next one. Blender 4.4 support. There were a few, a few, a slew, a slew <laughs> of uh, fundamental tool breakages crashes and platform specific bugs that had to be addressed, but happy to say that Blender 4.4 is now supported. That's true, but there are still some bugs. I know I'm coming from a Mac. I will have to, um, unfortunately I did not have time to report these bugs, but I discovered a few more bugs. Even today when I'm recording this after the release, after a few days after the, the release actually, uh, but I will, have, I will have to find time and report these bugs. Uh, because I, I found them in, in some uh, specific situations. All right, let's go on. Better drawing and snapping. Snapping is now zoom dependent. Polyline walls are now also no longer restricted for small segments. Snapping overall has been improved, especially for empties and curves. The polyline tool now supports custom transformation planes. This measure the measure tool also now works without any active IFC project. There's also now support for easily quantifying the area of faces with a new face area measurement mode. Just click on a face. That's so cool. Look, it, it's here. Right, let's go to the next one. Bug fixes. Who doesn't like bugs? No one. <laughs> no one likes them, I guess. Or are you a weirdo who likes bug? bugs? Bugs? I mean the physical creatures? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There are people who like 
I like all the creatures in this world, but if I see bugs or if I see snakes, I don't feel so comfortable. So yeah, um, right, let's move on. Uh, the number of bug fixes has become, have become too large to list individually. So this releases, this release notes no longer mention any fixes, no longer, no matter how big or small. That said, there were a lot of insidious bugs resolved this cycle. We've also hit a bittersweet milestone of 100k bugs, 1,000 open bugs. Huh? 1,000k? Is that a million? I don't think that's the case. No, I think these are the issues. Um, so with this, we're calling, uh, we, we call for uh, help for bug uh, triaging to prioritize development resources. This release cycle saw 355 new issues logged and 303 issues resolved. It was this uh, sound in the background, guys. I think it was the ice cream uh, car. Sorry about that. I hope uh, YouTube will not um, sanction me for um, copywriting for using that sound or something like that. <laughs> right, let's move to the next one. Yeah, so much more. I will go over uh, this and see. We extend our deepest gratitude to all our contributors for their invaluable contributions to the Bonsai project. Your dedication and expertise help make Bonsai a better platform for everyone. Thank you. Cleaned up Kobe 2.4 in IFC FM now supports point of contact and warranty period. Annotation tool now updates based on your selection, like the bin tool. Blender preferences saved on restart. That's good. This was a, a nuisance before. Named profiles are never deleted when you remove representations. New icons. Yay! <laughs> More Python 3.9 and 3.10 support in IFC OpenShell. You can now snap overlapped objects in X-ray mode. You can now edit, composite, composite, composite profiles, depths, profile depths. Ha! Huh. Not not in the best uh, day uh, of uh, reading English for me here. I'm sorry for that. You can now. Okay, so door can have a glazing material. Profile editing interface cleaned up, many snapping improvements and optimization, that's great. 3D is prioritized over 2D when loading before subcontexts. Windows now have different materials and shape aspects. Basic docs added for IFC tester and add more dependencies for a better OOTB experience. Grid API no longer needs math utils. Piles and columns now always go up. Appending assets now includes shape aspect. Interesting. Non-graph view reference representations can now be created. Area measurements now uses the IFC area unit. You can now configure the temporary directory. Sub-libraries are now supported. Insane workaround for Revit 2025 20, loading teams. IFC patch recipe to merge identical styles and merge automatically when loading. Okay, interesting. Accommodate excessive context when loading. Work around for bad IFCs such as from Revisto. Ooh. Reloading links works now. Hooray! That's great. Let's see, do we have an, anything else here? Yes, there are some more news, guys. Financially, we've been spending more than what we earn through donations. This has been draining our savings, and so we've, we've temporarily scaled back sponsored development for Bruno Pedigao, working on features like wall drawing, snapping, aggregates, and measurement tools. If you or your company benefits from IFC OpenShell or Bonsai, please consider becoming a sponsor. Yeah, please do that. The donations 
add up significantly and hugely accelerate development towards our goal of free software for the entire built environment. So we can see here, you can see with blue the income and the expenses. And you can see that the, the last quarters, the expenses were quite high. And the ending balance has decreased a lot, like almost halved. So yeah, it's important to make sure that uh, there is always at least uh, one dev. And that's Andre, I guess. And uh, yeah. That's sad to hear, to be honest. But yeah, you can do, you can make a, a difference. Um, Five dollars, ten dollars. If you use this tool, that can go a long way. All changes, all changes can view the directly. Can view the directly via the git logs. A huge thanks to the growing volume of new contributors who are joining the team and changing the industry. You can too. Thank you very much for everyone who contributes in any way by promoting, by coding, by using the tool, providing feedback, by everything. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, that's visible. I'll show you soon why. Credits for this release in order, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we have uh, the number of commits. So here, Andre, the main developer. Well done, Andre, one more time. Dion, of course, he, with the layered walls, with the, yeah, wall layers. Bruno, Perdigao, then, then Thomas Kreiner, kudos, and a big shout out uh, for him as well. He's the developer of IFC OpenShell. Amazing. Richard Bryce, Ryan Schultz, Bra Bruno Postel, Massimo Fabro, Cyan Gioti, Das, Falcon T, Falcon 10. Uh, I think this is a, this is a Norwegian name, five comments. Tim, Schmudi, Arho Nagelhaut, Jesse Rudhorst, Jonas Frey, Sebastian Friston, Falcon of Del, <laughs> Sebif, might be the same person, tried different, uh, different accounts or something like that. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for your contribution. You are amazing. Let's go to the next one. Donors since the last release. This is a, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I think this is, this is for this feature only. Tobias Jorn, Core Digital Engineering. I will take the time and give credit to everyone. I will go through all this list, okay? It's a long one which is a great sign and I'm very grateful for everyone contributing to this, okay? This is so meaningful. It's so amazing to see so many people putting together and seeing the potential of this amazing tool and keep supporting it. Uh, FOS is the future, Core Digital Engineering, Randolph, Beamvoice, yeah, you might know that one, Planny Beam SA, Serial Wetcher, Beam Insight, Incognito, Heinrich, Lawrence Giroux, Flora Muller, Opening Design, Carlo Pav, Matthew Fuller, Andre Bonfante, Ari Pikarainen, Hey Ari, David B. Infrabem, Hey David, Incognito, Losse Pacific, Haritonov Alexander, Victor Betran, Hey Victor, Patau, Hannes Worm, <clears throat> Yoni Knop, C. Villagrasa, Hannes, Kenneth R. Kenneth? Kenneth, Kenneth. Rodas, Tileng, Dumitro. Way! Hey, Dumitro. Luis. Hey, Luis. Luis Trumpler. You're going to hear more about him. Okay, there are, I have to scroll. I don't have more. Yeah, sorry. Frude, hey Frude, thank you so much for your contribution. Sven, hey Sven, same. Um, Arian, Steph Stapp, hi Stefan, I think I know who you are. Thank you so much for your contribution. Martina, Sam Morley, Dennis Pomier, thank you so much, Dennis. Nico, Udo, Duarte Farahota Ramos, Henning M, Arun, Bedrosian Adam, Bimij, Dimitri, uh, Koptev, Abdelhamid 
Belmaris, Matirj, Leon Ten Brinke, Abdelmalek Harag, Bit Energy, Cynthia, Hey Cynthia, Haris Karim, Mayday, BCLMNT, Fab- Fabian Emanuel Kitzberger, Guest, this is a guest. Hia Ejalti, Walter or Walter, Asleho, Marcin Bogul, Boguslavski, Pedro Franco, Mitch, Crande, Pius, Benjamin Smith, Cristina, Carlos, Smilian Tukic, Jean Pascal, Manu Varkey, David Fedko. Hey David, thank you so much. Bruno, hey Bruno. Bruno Perdigao, Tim McGinley, Rafael Bayare, Benny, hey Benny, Madras, Sixna, Alexander Kliman, Reuner, Kristof Melur, Cassio Vadal, Christian, Chung1219, Marco Andrade, Alessandro, Ben Petri, Mario Turibio, Royal Vivi, Pascal Nicolas and Antonio. Thank you so much, everyone. You are making a difference. You are making an impact in the built environment. Thank you so much for everyone, for everything you do, and also to the developers and to everyone else supporting this amazing amazing project. Thank you very much. I'll see you around.